Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. This is going to be the 7th anniversary summary. We've got a lot to go into, so very quickly. This, the voting thing. So, in my opinion, I think one or three of the most valuable ones. Either the, the first one you guarantee. I know it's cut off, but I'll just describe it. Uh, the first one there is the is guaranteed in Evision. Plus some other stuff. But you get less summons overall, but it's a guaranteed. And then the last one has 30 summons with a 5% Neovision increase. So there's a chance of getting multiple Neovisions in the third one, but there's also a chance of just getting nothing. But the first one guarantees one, so you might want one or the other. I'm not sure, guys. But I think the second one's just not worth it as much as the one, one, one and three. So if you are... Uh, I guess you don't have to be a new player, but I mean, only new players would really care about this. I don't know why it's being cut off so much. I hate that. That is cut off so much. Whatever. But there's a bunch of old Neovisions in there, so if you're a new player, you'd like to get Cloud, perhaps, if he when he get, if he gets his upgrades. That is. Uh, there are some characters that did get some upgrades, so like Kurosawa got his leader skill. So that leads me to believe that Cloud should get his new leader skill in the, in the future. This is not the whole thing, by the way. This is not all the gifts, but this is some of the presents that we're going to be getting in the login. Not the login, but the your inbox eventually. So, we'll be talking about that uh, seventh um, lapis thing there in, in, in a bit. And here's the um, rewards for the live stream. And here are the units. Now, the crowd was cheering heavily for Elena. When I made, but when I made my poll, Elena wasn't even like close to the top, I believe. She wasn't even like close to number, like not number one even. She wasn't even close to number one, but apparently, when people were saying in my stream, uh, paid actors, but come on guys, this is gonna be, they can't afford paid actors. <laughs> Alright, so Elena is coming again. Uh, it feels like they're just trying to do this just to make money at this point, because it's a, it's a tie to a... An established character so they they can't make anything new okay so Elena again I know people were like oh she hasn't had one for a long time but if come on get let's we want something more interesting more new like Rick for example is at least someone different so Rick reminds me a lot of the JP units currently in the game uh, that that are gonna be upcoming he very, reminds me a lot of Zidane because Zidane has uh, 24 hits in his base form, 27 hits in his race shift form, or either or, we swap swap those. But, it's gonna be the same for Rick. Uh, hopefully he's better than, than, than Zidane. <laughs> he will be. Based off one thing, one thing that he has, he's already gonna be better than pretty much, uh, a lot of units coming out. Just for that, he has 180% light amp. So, only in Clash of Wills though. So he's gonna be hitting very hard in Clash of Wills, like more. He's probably gonna be hitting harder than any finisher in the game. Yeah, well, that's gonna be hitting a lot harder than Squall at EX3. I think at EX2 he's probably gonna be strong, too, way too strong. 180% light amp. That's just that's a little too crazy, but they're going. They're they're pushing the limits here with uh, certain things like 450% buffs. And now they're doing 180% amp. So I'm assuming that the JP version. Is gonna start doing 180% amped for their characters soon. So yeah, this guy seems like a pretty strong damage dealer. The only head scratcher is the EX2. What what is what is that? I, I'm assuming this is still a work in progress or something, because those percentage we well, don't the low more low first damage is fine, but we don't really care about stat percentages anymore because they're so easy to obtain. So not really that amazing, but okay. So, if you are in Clash of Wills, Morales Battles, you'll get a 500% leader skill for for uh, for Clash of Wills units. This is what we were expecting. So this guy is definitely in premium, by the way. If you didn't already know, 180% light amp, so yeah. Pretty decent weapon, 500 flat attack and 100% HP. So it can be pretty tanky. And the TMR also gives 500 flat attack, so you get a thousand if you have both. 
and to get some killers. Coincidentally, the killers that you need for the Clash Fools boss will be talking about here. Vision card obviously is gonna be very good. 650. If you're if you're going wild and crazy, seeing that 650, there will be new. I know some of you guys, like some of you in my stream chat, were saying I don't even have the uh, the 170 500 yet for for like Squall and all those yet. They do move on to 650, but they're more specific. Like um, the new Lightning has 650 flat stats, but it's only for specific categories. That is a lot more niche than an element, so. Nothing new for me, but not something new for you guys. And whenever you see a character have a, a ridiculous amount of resist, you know that their boss is probably going to have something that you need it for. So, I, I called it out. I knew it right away. <laughs> the 100% ice resist, you need it for the Clash Wheels boss. There will probably be ways work around it, but this will probably make it a lot easier, of course. The area effect is not really that useful. Amp fields or imperil fields are a lot more useful or LB damage fields are a lot more useful than this. So I'm not really sure why they advertised it. If this was like 150%, you might have to start calculating that because there hasn't been a field like that. But 100% we've, we've had those kind of fields and they're not useful. They're not useful enough. So she's a, I'm assuming, yeah, a tank in her base form, which should, how it should be. And the reason for that is because Take for example Elena, or Esther, sorry, El Esther, her tanking ability in a reshift form. So if she dies, she changes back to her base form, and now she can't tank. If that was your only tank, now you're screwed. And for Elena, her tanking is her base form, and her damage form is in a reshift form. So if you die, she stays back, she goes back to her base form, and now you're going to be able to tank the next round. Hopefully she has a permanent or she has a true brave shift because if she does not that kind of screws you over for the damage part though So we'll have to see uh, Her later skill is very good, but If she does not have eight times cap Then her true to wield is pretty much worthless. She needs eight times cap to be useful as a true to wield unit Her base form I think is where the CG animation is and everything like that so Extreme overframe, pretty nice, but Rick does not have extreme overframe for some reason. So he would be able to chain with Squall, but not with much other characters. So, okay. She has extreme overframes though, pretty nice. And she has some mod buffs for herself. Cool. And no five stop and charm, fine. There's nothing really that insane here. Just uh, the the fill the fill moral bar is fine, but only when Richtens in the party. Okay, and then you get a fill moral bar at the start of every turn when Blade of Vengeance is in the party, and that's only an EX one. Pretty good. And then here's the 750 percent leader skill for Clash Wheels, only in morale battles. So. There will be 750% other leader skills, of course, you, as you as you guys know about, about Ace. And there will be more coming. Like Lightning, like Locke. So, leader skill is pretty good. Leader skill is pretty good. And especially since she's a magic tank, she, you'll, you'll want her in there more often. Unfortunately, if you pull for Abigail, there's another magic tank. She probably won't absolutely power creep um, Abigail. Because I'm pretty co confident that she that Ellen is not premium. You know she has a CG, CG animation. I'm pretty sure she's not premium, based off of the vision card that she has. And this is obviously not two-handed. The S team are there. Only 300 flat stats though. What? Not 500. I didn't notice that in the live stream because it went by so fast. But that is not. That amazing, it, it, like they're gimping the the 200 200 uh, flat stats from this for what reason? Do they think it's too broken? No, it won't be broken. The TMR is decent. Yeah, it's pretty decent. So pretty decent overall. Obviously, I don't think she's premium in my opinion because of this. It's 130 flat stats, or 130 um, 
vision card, so I don't think it's premium. She does have a new vision card, which is basically glued on, because I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be uh, the next one we'll be looking at. I'm supposed to be a step up uh, vision card, but they put it on Ellen instead. So this vision card is nothing special. You're never really going to use it. This vision card, however, you may use. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty good, but not not super top tier, not the toppest of tiers. It's pretty good though. There's also going to be a free vision card with the mono art, which apparently I don't have a picture for, but it has all the fundamental forces on it, so at least it's nice to look at, but it has low stats, so it's nice for people who are just joining the game. There will be a buff for Ibarra, but only... Um, I think, yeah, only when we have Ellen in the party, of course. Uh, the, the plus side is at least you're going to have Ellen in the party if you pull for her because she's a magic tank. So, at least it's that. At least she's not a full-on DPS, nothing else. That's something. Uh, the first one there has pretty, is, it would be pretty decent if this has 150% killers, at least. If this only 100% killers, eh. Because the stats are low and it doesn't have any... Uh, offensive stats so it would have to have 150 percent killers and that'd be pretty good for one-shotting things uh that are easy enough to one shot and here is the ex battle thing um ex coins i haven't seen those in a while right uh so pretty decent and i don't have a picture for it apparently but the seventh that seventh um lapis icon there is going to give you, you some pretty good stuff including some shards it looks like um from the image that they showed on the live stream and they showed premium units so make sure to do this guys this is probably one of the only good things about the anniversary so far in my opinion here's the boss and the sprite is pretty nice hopefully this turns into a unit eventually so there are three we three races there most people only focus on two so, only focus on, I mean, Human and Demon is super easy to gear for. And there it is, guys. 300% Ice Resist and Peril that it has. Which Elena can cover, of course. Conveniently. Problem, reaction, solution. Is what's, what's happening here. They, they created the problem. They're going to implement the solution. And you're going to pull for the solution. Some buffs to the chainmail, I think that was definitely necessary because it really, I feel like the chainmail is the weakest of the bunch, but this is pretty good. There's also another one that I don't have an image for, but another chainmail also gets upgraded. I believe it's the rulers is what it's called, and it gets more flat stats, so that's also very nice. I like that. All right, this video is going a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm mixing through several music in this video. And then Garuda. Okay, so Garuda is coming. This is not for new players. This is a very hard dungeon. The mobs, you know, like the random stuff you find in exploration sometimes, even that stuff is really hard, almost like boss level. So you have to try super hard. New players are never going to get through this. So, but Garuda is coming, but it's very grueling to get. I haven't even done it on the JP version. So I got to get on that eventually. So that's it. That's it, guys. So. My thoughts on the anniversary part, at least the, the beginning part. I mean, there could be a lot more coming out in the future. Uh, this is just the part one, basically. I'm not, it's not officially called part one, but let's just call it part one. Uh, not a lot of substance here. It's, it's literally as I predicted it was going to be. Throw out a banner. The Wild Clash of Wolves called a day. And they basically did that. Now there's some other things in there as well, but... The main thing that's holding this game back from com people coming back in the game, I'm not saying that's going to save the game, I don't think anyone believes that, but I believe it would help stop the bleeding. This would be a big nice band-aid, uh, Neo Vision Pool Reduction. I know apparently they don't want to do this yet, they didn't say that by the way, but I'm, they didn't mention it or talk about it, but it needs to happen. Neo Vision Pool Reduction, it's embarrassing at this point that like you're pulling, like Melia for example, you know she's a global original but she's terrible at this point. 
Imagine pulling melee as your off your one off banner uh, in your whole step up. You pull only one new vision and it's Melia or someone else. That's really bad, and that's it. You went through a whole step up and you only got one new vision and it's terrible. So, I'm not saying that the new vision pull reduction would help you completely, but it would help mitigate against a lot of terrible off banners. Because you should be happy pulling. It shouldn't be a, a, a unfun unfun affair. It should be fun to pull for, on a step up and get some good stuff. The next thing, increasing the rates to 5% on every banner. Nothing more special about it anymore. No special, oh, this is a special 5% only, only for this limited time. Even 5% is not even that amazing, but it would help out a little bit. But 5% should be standard at this point. And they didn't do that either. So two things already that they did not do. Another thing, they need to innovate again. They're not making money on this game as much anymore, but they need to make it exciting again to make people come into the game. Oh, look at this new event. Or something something more interesting. Or the old um, Clash Rules bosses back in that chamber um, dungeon that people want. Stuff like that. Um, so hopefully there will be a part two in, in the coming weeks. And they'll be adding in more things. I know the JP version's anniversary was not very interesting either, and that's on them. But I'm assuming that the next anniversary on the JP version, there has to be some changes. They cannot, you know, rest on their laurels. They can't, you know, drag their feet. They can't sit on their hands. Whatever the other phrase you want to use in that in that context, they can't just drive on 10 miles per hour through a slow street anymore. There's a lot of competition at this point. There's a lot of games coming out that people want to play. Like, you need to make it more interesting for people to come back in the game. There's ser like the number one thing that this game seriously needs: new vision pool reduction. They did it for the five stars back in the day. And I understand their philosophy. I I feel like their philosophy right now is like. If we just give crowns and stuff to old units, it'll be interesting, but a lot of the crowns coming out are not even good. There's like maybe one in five crown characters that actually are useful. So that's my opinion on everything, guys. I know it's not a super hot take, but I want to get it out there. Give me if you're watching, you really need to consider Talk with the board, talk with whatever you need. I think that there seriously needs to be an evasion pool reduction. It will bring some people back. I, I am pretty confident, and some of you may disagree, but I feel like it would bring some people back. You announce it even. You plaster it on an advertisement. We've reduced the knee vision pool. We've increased the rates, come back. You know, 30 free pools or something, you know. I don't know. I've seen other games do something like that, so. That's it guys, this video is already extremely long when I was only wanting to do like 10 minutes. But if you watch to the very end, hashtag big moment. Hashtag big moment for the end of the end of the video here guys. And also don't forget the new meme. Click for full details. I didn't see I didn't get the image here unfortunately. But if you watch my uh, live stream uh, that I that I did on it, click for full details. I love that. <laughs> it's the new meme. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.